This is part three of section 6.1. We're talking about Gauss-Jordan elimination. We're still going to start off by writing our augmented matrix, and we're going to use our three row operations in order to change this into this. The difference here versus here is that instead of allowing just anything right here, we're going to go another step and get a zero, okay? And then what happens is we don't have to back substitute because if you go and write the system here, you're gonna get X equals A, Y equals B, okay? So I wanna solve this system using Gauss-Jordan elimination. I'm going to start off by writing my augmented matrix, three and a four, three and a two, three and eight thirds. Okay, now the first step we need to do, our first order, again, I have the order done here to correspond with here. The first thing we need to do is to get a one in this position. Right now I have a three. Now how do we create ones? We create ones by using rule two. That just says we can multiply in by any non-zero number and generally speaking, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of three is one third. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take one third and multiply row one by that and then I'm gonna rewrite it, I'm gonna replace it with where I'm gonna write it where row one is now. Now remember these are row equivalent. One third times three is one. One third times three is one. One third times three is one. And then I did not change my second row. Okay. So this, I said I multiplied by one third. This is really, you know, the same as dividing everything here by three because it can be and you make all your numbers smaller. Okay, so what's the next thing I need to do? My next thing is I need a two. Uh, the, no, no I, I, my second step is I need a zero right here. Okay, so I have my one in the correct position. Now the thing I need, I'm trying to change is this four. Remember that when we want a zero, we're using row, we're using property three. We're going to find a not, a, a, we're going to find a tool row and use it. Now it's easy when you have a two by two because your, your um, tool row is always the other one, whatever it is. But in general, if I'm trying to create a zero here, I have created a one somewhere in this column. And where have I done that? I just created or made sure that I had a one right there. So that is my tool row. So what am I going to do? I don't need to change row one at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it. It's a tool row, we pick it up, we use it, but we do not change it. Now I'm trying to get rid of a four. What can I multiply a one by to get rid of a negative four when I add them together? A negative four. So I'm gonna do negative four times, sorry, negative four times row one plus row two, and then I'm gonna write that answer where row two is. If I multiply row one by a negative four, it's negative fours all the way across. Okay. And now I add ne four plus negative four is zero. Two plus negative four is negative two. And eight thirds minus four gives me negative four thirds. Okay, we're making progress. So now what do we have? We had the one we needed. We have the zero we need. And now our third step is to get a one right here. Okay, now remember to create a one we multiply by the reciprocal. So right now I'm just gonna recopy that matrix on the next line. 
And remember, anytime you're recopying, that is a step that's easy to make a stupid mistake on. So double check yourself. Make sure that you actually have copied it down correctly. So I've got this one and this one, and I'm trying to get a zero right here. Not a zero, a one, a one. So I need a one here, so I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative two is negative one half. And I'm going to replace row two with that. Row one is staying the same. All right, negative one half times row two. Negative one half times zero is zero. Negative one half times negative two is one, which is what I wanted. And then negative one half times negative four thirds is going to give me positive two thirds. Now right here, I am in the proper form for Gaussian elimination. You would stop, rewrite your system, and do a back substitution, and you would have it. For Gauss-Jordan, we just do one more step here. I've got my one, I've got my zero, I've got my one. Now I just want this to be a zero. Okay, now remember, when we're creating a zero, we have created a one somewhere in that column. And where have I created that one? Right here in the second row. That means this is going to be my tool row and it is not going to change. Okay, now I've, I've got my one here already. I'm trying to get this one changed. So I look in my column, what do I need to multiply a one by to get rid of a negative, uh, a positive one? I need to multiply it by a negative one. So I'm gonna do negative one times row two because it's my tool row. I'm going to add that to row one and then I'm going to replace row one with that answer. Okay. Well, negative one times row two would be zero, negative one, and negative two thirds. Zero plus one is one. Negative one plus one is zero, which is good. That's what we tried to get. And then one minus two thirds is one third. Now you can go back to your system of equation, equations, and this is equivalent to uh, x, 1x plus 0y is equal to 1 third. 0x plus 1y is equal to 2 thirds. So the answer to this system is 1 third, 2 thirds. Okay, now what we're going to do after in the next part is we are going to start working some larger systems, ones with three equations and three unknowns.